Huttinger splits out to the left. Thomas under center. It's going to be a handoff to Junker up the middle. He plunges into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. As Applington Parkersburg opens the scoring tonight on an Aiden Junker run. That gives them a 6-0 lead. Low snap. Bounces on the ground. Thomas goes back to pick it up. He's going to try to get rid of it and throw. Rolling back to the 25. Gets rid of it towards the end zone. Ball in the air. It's going to be incomplete. Intended receiver back there for Applington Parkersburg was Kale Ryard. He couldn't get it. Incomplete, so two-point conversion no good. Our score, 6.05 to go in the opening quarter. 6-0 in favor of Applington Parkersburg. As they've again got three receivers to the left, but two receivers right this time. Gallagher by himself in the shotgun. Runner comes in motion to the left. It'll be a handoff as he makes a man miss. That is Coltaus on the carry. He's past the 40. Still going past midfield. Got some room to go. Past the 40 to the 30. 25. One man to beat. It's a foot race to the end zone. 10. 5. Touchdown. Touchdown, Sailors. Waterloo Columbus opens their scoring as Caleb Holthouse takes the ball from the 33-yard line all the way into the end zone for the Waterloo Columbus touchdown. We're tied at six apiece as the Sailors will attempt the extra point. Gallagher will hold. It's a good snap. It's down. Kicks on the way. Might have pulled it. And no, he did just pull it. So the PAT is no good. So we're still tied up six apiece here with 5-12 reigning in the opening quarter. The Falcons just a few feet away from the end zone. Huttinger splits out to the left. Thomas comes under center. It's going to be a handoff up the middle of the junker. He'll cross the goal line. Touchdown, Falcons as they reclaim the lead. Just under six and a half minutes remaining in the second quarter. Our score, Applington Barkersburg 13, Waterloo Columbus 6. The Sailors trying to tie things up here. They have second and five from the 13. One receiver left, three to the right. Gallagher in the shotgun with Hind to his left. He takes a snap. He will pull the hand off. Captain himself, he's got a convoy. He's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown, Sailors. As Carter Gallagher... Faked the handoff, thought about it, then he kept it himself. Had a couple blockers and no white jerseys in front of him as he brings it across the goal line for a 13-yard score. And the Sailors will go for an extra point to try and tie the game. Come up to the line, no receiver split out. Thomas under center, he's just going to take a knee. Falcons trying to make sure they avoid anything funny happening here late in the second quarter. So that'll do it for our opening half, ladies and gentlemen. We will go to halftime with our score all tied up. Waterloo Columbus 13, Applington Parkersburg 13. Ben Trost will attempt the field goal. He's two for two on the year. He's got a long of 28. This will be a much longer one. It'll be about close to a 37-yard, 36-yard kick. Trying to take the lead. High snap, but it's down. Kicks on the way. It's going to be well short. Doesn't even get to the back of the end zone. It was also well off to the right. So the field goal's no good. So first and 10 for the Falcons from their own 31-yard line. Just over six minutes remaining in this third quarter. We're still tied up at 13 apiece. Sailors just missed that field goal on their last possession. Falcons looking to take advantage. Huttinger split out to the left. As the Falcons break the huddle, Thomas goes under center. Takes the snap. He's going to do a play-action pass. Look to throw. Long pass down the field for Huttinger. It's overthrown. It's going to be intercepted. Caleb Holthaus on the interception for Waterloo Columbus. Huge defensive play from the junior there as he picks off the pass. And that could be a serious game changer there as Waterloo Columbus will stop them in their tracks and they will take over first and 10. Looks like they're going to spot the ball. Pretty good field position at their own 39-yard line. As if you missed it earlier, Carter Gallagher was injured a little bit earlier in the quarter. He's back in the game, but he's clearly favoring that left arm. So that'll be interesting storyline to watch play out the rest of the night. Two receivers left, two to the right as a receiver comes in motion. It's going to be a handoff there to Holthouse, going to the left side of the field, cuts it back to the 30, still going to the 20. He's got one man to beat, blocker down the field to the 10, 5, touchdown, touchdown Sailors as Waterloo Columbus retakes the lead here with two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Caleb Holthouse with his second rushing touchdown of the night. Fourth and three for the Falcons. Pitch goes to Living Good. He's going to be close. It'll depend on the spot. The Columbus defenders don't think he got there. Sam Livingood was the ball carrier on fourth down and three from the four for Applington Parkersburg, and he was short. Waterloo Columbus will take over deep inside their own territory. Huge defensive stand from the Sailors. Runs into the huddle for the Sailors. They face fourth and six. 
We've got 35 seconds to play in the ball game. As the Salix come up to the line. Two receivers right. Gallagher takes a snap. He's going to throw. Looking towards the end zone. Ball in the air. Hurts is there. It's caught. Touchdown, Sailors. And that's going to seal the game. Caden Hartz with a touchdown reception from Gallagher. 24 yards for the score. And the Sailors extend their lead with 26 seconds to go in the game. Appling and Parkersburg not giving up. As they come up to the line, second and 10. Thomas takes a snap. He's going to throw again. Pressure in his face. Steps up to avoid it. Ball's in the air. It's going to be caught by Hedinger. Taken down right away. And they can't stop the clock. Five seconds. I don't think they're going to have time to, to clock it. And that is going to do it. The clock hits zero. Our final score, Waterloo Columbus 27, Applington Parkersburg 13. It was a little questionable there for a while for the Sailors, but they do manage to hold on, come away with a 14-point win, and they are moving on to the round of 16 in the Class 1A play playoffs. Appling and Parkersburg will finish their year with a record of 5-4 and four as the Sailors get the win to move on in the playoffs.